Hey everyone, Mark here. Welcome back to Cali Plants. So these are my new batch of plants. The other box have already been opened by my friend. He's the one who picked it up for me. And as you know, I'm in the province and I don't have quick access to the courier, to the LBC. So I have had my friend ship this to me and right now I think some of them are looking good but there are some who are which are getting moist so I'm quite worried about that so let's see what what we have here Woo. wow look at that the shape is amazing it looks so good you see here that the shape is intact it's very much intact yes but these lower leaves I'm not holding my breath for these ones these are going to go and it will just have to regrow new leaves yes yeah. so let's just put it here Next. Oh, wow. Wow. It's the Lola. I've never seen anything like this in real life. Yeah, I've seen this in photos, but Ooh, this one looks so splendid. Yeah, it's really pretty. So we'll be growing that one. This one seems a bit flat. Ooh. This one is the Echeveria unguiculata, yes. It might look like a Sinisho, but it's not. It's an Echeveria. Yeah, these guys are very expensive and they're in high demand currently in the Philippines because a lot of people are looking for these ones. Oh, I think that this leaf is the mother leaf. How do they grow these plants so big? It still has the mother leaf, the mother leaf intact it's so amazing they're doing wonders there in the highlands in baguio so if you're not from the philippines you may not be familiar with our area people grow succulents in the highlands here in the philippines because it's much easier to grow succulents there they grow bigger there because temperatures there are cooler yeah, but here in the lowlands, we just have to buy from them and then we have to acclimate our plants to the warmer areas here in the lowlands. The plants from there are very healthy. Well, you still have to choose the proper sellers so that you can get healthy plants like this one. Next plant. So here is... <gasps> wow. So this is a topsy-turvy. And you can see it's really chubby it's really yeah it's really chunky and the farina is good as well i've had topsy turvies but they're not growing really well in my care i don't know why maybe it's the soil i've never had one that had grown to this size so i'll be trying to keep this one alive next plant oh this one is moist it really makes me nervous because a lot of people here in the philippines they receive rotten plants but this one oh wow it's not dead at all so this is i think an echeveria blue surprise yep. but this one has a rounder has rounder leaves you can see here that the leaves are rounder compared to this one 
this this might be an agaboides hybrid because the leaves are much pointier this one much rounder yes much like the elegance this could be an elegance hybrid i don't know next plant oh this one is moist but it looks okay huh. okay these are both orions but this one has a much higher leaf count but they are the same size and the edges of the leaves yeah it's like it's glowing oops like it's glowing because the leaves the edges yeah oh wow this one is re really moist uh, wow okay so this one is the worst so far this is a grafted very bashful the plant itself i think is okay if you want to check if your plant is healthy you should check if the leaves at the tip at, at the top at the center is okay because that is where the growth will be coming from so if the leaf leaves here are healthy the plant will be able to produce new growth but if the leaves here are not healthy that might be a sign that your plant is unhealthy now why is this plant in a bad state other than this plant because these are graptovarias and graptovarias they have troubles when they are being shipped because they don't like staying in a box for too long yes i've had the same problem with a graptovaria lovely rose it's been dropping leaves like crazy so yeah we're gonna try to recover that i think that's the worst but i think it will be producing new growth this season so we'll just have to see wait and see what happens with this one okay this one has a flower stalk oh, wow that's a big one Woo! it's a really big one it's kind of closed okay so i think this is an uh a this hybrid i think yeah i'll be posting the names of this later on okay. i'm hoping you guys can see this oh wow so this is i think the violet queen rose queen i don't know it's, it's, it's something with a queen in the name okay so why are these plants uprooted overseas Plants get shipped with their soil, but here in the Philippines, they are uprooted. I think that's just a standard here in our area. So this is another Topsy-Turvy. I ordered a lot of plants. Oh, oh wow. Oh wow. So here's another bashful. It's in the same state as the other one. Yeah, I'm hoping they'll be all, all right in a few months. Maybe within two seasons. Okay, so this one. Wow. I don't know if this is the queen one or this is the queen one. Keep forgetting, I'm gonna be asking the seller and I'll be posting the names later on. Okay. Okay, here's another Orion. Yes. So pretty. Notice this. Oh, something. It looks like this one. I think it's the same plant but this is much this is a much smaller one if you're ordering online then you really want to make sure that you're getting a big plant uh, not necessarily like a very large specimen but you have you want to make sure that there's a lot of leaves on the plant so these are leaves these are not petals don't call it petals these are not petals these are not flowers so you want to get a plant that has a lot of leaves to make sure that they will survive the shipping and then they will survive acclimating to your area if you get a small plant it has a less it has a, a lesser chance it has a lesser chance of surviving lower chance of surviving so if you want to be more successful with plants get bigger plants the bigger the better it will cost you more if you order a bigger plant but it will be worth it in the long run yes you can get small plants if you know they're from your area from your neighbors maybe but big 
but if you're ordering from afar, you want to make sure that those are big ones. So this is this is an Echeveria Dondo. I've had this plant before, but a smaller one. So this is a bigger one. Yes. So I'll be sharing the name of the seller of these plants on the description. So if you want, if you want to check them out, if you're in the Philippines and you want to buy plants, here's another Orion. You can check it out in the description. Wow. So this is a Ben Badis. Kind of looks like the Lola, but they, these are very different plants. I don't know. It the leaves are shaped like it's flat on the top and it's rounded underneath, so it's it looks pretty. This one is actually a Purposorum hybrid. If you know that, if you know the Echeveria Purposorum, this is one of its hybrids, the Echeveria Ben Badis. This is Lola. And the last plant. Oh. What? Let me just take the camera. I want to show this to you guys. Okay. Okay, so this one is really special to me. This one has been a part of my wish list plant for so long. The camera doesn't do it justice. It's a really pretty plant. This is a Graptoveria amethorum. You can see the tips here? They're of a different color. It's like edged with green. This is another Purposorum hybrid, but with a Graptopetalum. I'll be posting pictures of this in my Facebook. If you want to check out my plants, guys, so you can look me up on Facebook Calais plants okay let's go check out the other plants these are the plants that have been opened previously by my dear friend thank you to Kuyakin get a better view okay this is a Semper Vivum cluster here is another Korean propagation this is an Echeveria Salsa Verde. So this is a Leon Breakers. Yeah, you can see it's a very big one. The leaves are so big. This is a Graptoveria Orpet. The leaves are upturned and they are a bit folded. Much like a Topsy-Turvy but it's folded in the other way. This would be my new favorite. This is an Echeveria Calibra, one of those Echeverias with carunculations, yes. So here is an Echeveria bluebird. Bluebirds are notorious for getting tails. They're like mermaids. And this is a flab check. This came as a freebie. I'm hoping I can revive it to its to a glorious state. And this one is an Echeveria I forgot. No, it's not a name. I just forgot. Yeah, so there they are. Hopefully they'll survive here. Hey guys, so glad you made it till the end. So here are all my new plants. You can see here. It's right by my side. I'm on the floor and yeah. So I'll be leaving them here. You can see that. So I'll be leaving them here so they can acclimate. This part of the house gets about I don't know 30 minutes of sun so I think they'll be adjusting here and yeah and you'll be seeing more of these plants on my future future videos on my garden tour so I'll be showing you how I'm gonna be caring for them so maybe I'll make a video about how to acclimate plants after they went through shipping because they're gonna need they're gonna need some time to adjust to their new place adjusted their new surroundings so I'll be showing you how I'm gonna be uh, what techniques I'm gonna be doing with them so if you want to see that video if you want to see that video please go ahead and subscribe to this channel yeah that would really help me a lot and yeah I'll see you guys in the next one so that's it bye